Holy shit, I'm live. Oh my God, what do I say? This is what I say. A long time ago, I came to understand an important thing about what it means to put your stuff out there to people, how to reach out to people. It's a mindset shift. And the mindset shift is going to enable you to understand why you can actually do this. That needs to be coupled with the excellent delivery. Because, as you well know, if you have seen anything that I do, that I say, that I offer, you will know that the way that you couple this mindset shift with excellent delivery is going to enable people to actually stop, take notice, and get it. Okay, so what's that mindset shift? It's this. There are people all over the world who actually don't want to be doing any hard work, the heavy lifting, in order to find the next cool solution to their problems. They actually, we all want it to just just drop into our lap without having to look for it. A long time ago, back in the 80s and 90s, when I was working, <clears throat> we had to pick up the phone and call people. Or you could send people stuff in the mail. Snail mail was, it wasn't called snail mail. It was called mail. And phones were on your desk. Big thing. You've seen pictures. Or they were on the wall. Big thing. And you could not walk with them. And if you had a big, long cord and you hung it back up, the cord would eventually get stretched out and would go... And it would turn into a squid <laughs> or an octopus. Dead squid, dead octopus, sitting, hanging on the wall underneath your phone. So all of these agents and producers and business people, they were sitting in their office. And I realized something. I realized, hey, 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 Facebook user. I'm going to have to check and see who this is, unless you send a note saying who you are. But I'm going to look over here, and I'm going to check this shizzle out. I'm going to refresh. Looks to me like it might be Andrew or Mukadis. Not sure. It is Makaris. Hey, man. Nice to see you here. So I'm going live on a few different sources right now. So I just want you to understand that I can't keep up with all of that stuff, but I'm going to be here on my stream yard. And, and this, is the way, this is the way it works, okay? <clears throat> Yeah, hope you're doing well, too. This is an opportunity to ask me anything after I explain this stuff, so let me know what you think, okay? Here we are 30 years ago, and people were sitting in the office, and they were doing their work, and there wasn't any Facebook, and there wasn't any YouTube, and if you got their phone number and you called them up, and you gave them something that they actually could use, then what you were giving them was a no-work gift falling from the sky. Holy shit. But you had to understand that when you spoke to them, you needed to know that what you had to offer was something that they could potentially be looking for so you would speak to them i would talk to them and explain who i was 
out of nowhere, calling them. I would explain a little bit about what I do, just a little bit. And then I would say, you know, uh, if it was a if it was an agent, I learned how to say we are currently, you know, we are currently seeking representation. And if it was, you know, a PR person, I would explain what we're looking for. And I would explain specifically, you know, are and then I would ask them, are you taking on any clients right now? And if they said, yeah, because they liked the way I introduced myself, then I would have a conversation that continued and I would be able to actually explain a few neat qualities about why our work was attractive to audiences. Now, if it's a producer or an agent or whatever it is, what did they want to know? They wanted to know that they could sell you. So we had to, I had to learn how to explain to them that we could give big return engagement possibility and they could have, I would, I would hand them a gift of here's a line you can use to explain what we do to people if in fact you want to know more about what it is that we do and I can send you the stuff so that you can look. And a lot of times they would say, this sounds great. Like if I was talking to a producer, a person who runs a theater, and they have a performance series, then that's what I would do. And I would explain to them, we have a 100% re-engagement. That means that we show up places and people ask us back. <coughs> people love to hear that. They love to hear that you get asked back by other people in their business, right? So there were things, and this wasn't bullshit. This was straight up, right? That was the angle I could start with when we were starting out. Later on, I had plenty of angles. I could talk about all sorts of stuff. But you don't want to choose everything. It's not a kitchen sink thing. So what is this? You see... If you actually think mindset wise that people really want to have the brilliant solution just fall from the sky into their lap, then you don't have to feel self conscious and insecure. What you need to actually do is learn to articulate that stuff in a badass, unique, interesting, compelling way. So you separate yourself from everybody else. Now, what does that 30 years ago have to do with now? Now, this, I'm going live right into your house. Yeah, I'm on your screen. You're watching my shizzle. It shows right up. The key is that what's interesting, what grabs you, needs to be different from everybody else. It needs to be explained with unique, authentic flair so that people don't feel like, you know, I've heard this stupid shit before. Do you know? Of course you must. Of course you know this. I get handed scripted bullshit by people who hire, you know, virtual assistants and spew forth with some stupid fucking line in my inbox every day. Stuff where there's no introduction other than, you know, hey, this is what we're up to and, uh, you know, click here and we can get you started. Would you love to have a call? You want to hop on a quick chat? Like, fuck you. Come on. Sometimes I reply with, if this is your VA, can you please give them a non-scripted thing that doesn't make me want to wretch? <laughs> Just so they can actually occasionally look in their inbox and see this stuff. It's horrible. The idea is to actually introduce yourself in a compelling, interesting way. So I'm going to look over here on my Facebook. 
I need to check on the art of face dancing also because maybe someone is commenting there too. But now, if you have some thought or idea or question, you can ask me. Okay, post a question and I'm going to see. But uh, yeah. Hey, Prema. Hey, Ann. Good, I can see people. So that's on my Facebook, if I look on my Facebook. Makadis is on my profile. Ann and Prema and Andrew are on my Art of Face Dancing. And I'm going to go back to the StreamYard because you can certainly comment there as well. And if you have any questions about this, I want you to throw some ideas up. Ask me whatever you need to. No, you didn't sign up in StreamYard. That's okay. That's okay. But you can still ask a question. I can see that you're in there. So while we wait, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw this stuff out there, okay? The mindset shift is that people are you know I'm not gonna say dying. <laughs> people are dying too. Um because they're not dying too. People are craving. The people who need you, who need your solution, are craving not having to look for it far, not having to go out there and do a search. I see that question, what's your main challenge in life right now in your biz? I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. The... The issue is that there's all that scripted stuff out there. And if you do the normal stupid ass fucking sifting questions, then you will not be taken seriously because they've already heard that. What you're looking for is to actually take what you know how to do and put it out there in a unique compelling, energetic, passionate, authentic, heartfelt fashion. That allows people to stop and take notice. I get an enormous amount of people. I don't know about you, but I get an enormous amount of people when I engage with them right out of the gate. An enormous amount of people say, you sound fun. Your videos are absolutely super cool. And I want to get to know more. And it doesn't matter if they, if they need my help, then they go right to my Facebook group. If they don't need my help, I have other opportunities. We can talk. I don't need everybody to be a client or get out of my Facebook life. You know, it doesn't work that way for me. I want the people who groove on what I'm doing because they may know someone who needs what I have to offer, and I'm just interested in people. I want to know. So that's that's where that stuff is. Okay, I'm going to talk to uh, this question here. What's your main challenge in life right now in your business? Uh, my main challenge in life right now in my business is growing from a steady, reasonable income up through a combination of best practices streamlined uh streamlined workload 
I'm interested in I'm interested in hiring an appointment setter, but I'm picky. I have one coach that I work with. I have hired other people at other times. Most of them are chumps. Most of them have shitty courses with no follow through backup. So I'm very, I, I do my due diligence. Where am I looking to go with my stuff? To be honest, I'm looking to get, you know, upwards of a steady, a steady 50,000 K monthly. Now I'm not quite there, but I'm moving there. Mindset's fine. I don't need mindset. I don't need affirmations. I don't need attaboys. I don't need any of that stuff. And I have lots of people wanting to offer me all sorts of help on a regular basis. Yeah, and automatic appointment setter stuff. I know you, and I know you have that, and we should speak to that. Master scheduler. So reach out to me. On my messenger, and I can tell you honestly right here, I will grill the living fucking shit out of you before I get on a call with you. If I've never spoken to you before, don't give me a stupid fucking line of let's hop on a call. That is bogus. And you'll just get my automatic response, which is, I don't talk to someone until I know and trust them, so make me, make me want to care about why you are the one. I know your mommy thinks you're all that. I don't care until you make me care. And that's actually what I'm just talking about right here, right? Whole idea is that you have people showing up in your life and I know how to you know bring it with my own style and my own compelling interestingness I like that word interestingness it's not a word <laughs> that doesn't mean the pirates not gonna turn it into a word your interestingness is your genuinosity <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. But you know, uh let's see. Let's 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 move into there's a content creation calendar Rachel Miller made. If you want me to send it over to you, there's like 300 ideas logged into it. Uh I don't need your content creation calendar. I don't give a fuck. I already have content creation. I've been creating content since before you were born. I've been creating content that has gone on to TV shows and stages around the world for, you know, to over 2 billion people. Thanks for the content creation calendar. Don't send it to me, please. Don't want it. I already have, I already have like 500 videos on my hard drives. Um, <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be pleasant and nice on these things, but <laughs> there are the things that I want in my life and there are the things that I get to say no to when you have to say no a lot. You really, really do. No, you don't have to apologize. Perfectly fine. I don't take any offense. You're offering something. Do I need it? You know, when I need it, yes. If I don't need it, no. It's, you know, I don't. I, I, I applaud your I applaud your thoughts. But that is part of the dialogue that enables us to find out where we are, right? We are in dialogue with each other. And, um, uh, you know, it's nothing personal. I mean, there are a few people online who I, you know, who I, who, who, who I consider like, you know, the Simpsons, Maggie's baby with a one eyebrow, mortal enemy on the other side. <laughs> I look at them and say, oh, my God, you're an affront to everything I believe in. But most people, no, it's perfectly fine. Try keep trying it's like posting content make post get better at it post again 
the concept is everything's a placeholder. You create something. It's not perfect. It's not great. It's not exactly what you want. Post it. Don't delete it. Don't delete it. Don't don't press delete before you ever post. You know, put it up there. If it's if it's forty percent good enough, that's great. Then you make something that's forty five percent good enough, and you switch that one in, and there you have forty five percent grade. Then you create the next one that's fifty five percent pretty good, and you switch that one in, right? And that's the fifty five percent, and gradually you get to the ability to just kind of riff and bring it. Um, so uh, let, let me let me just let me just flip on over to uh, the Facebook and see who's wherever. Yeah, uh, Bry, nice, good, Lisa, 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 Happy New Year. Let's, uh, I've been paying attention to what you're up to. Let's have a talk, you and me, okay? Um, I know you're jammed with all sorts of good shizzle going on in your whizzle. <laughs> but uh, reach out when you can. And uh, so what else? What else? Uh, another question? Any, any other questions? <clears throat> Makadis. I, I I keep saying Mukades, but the fact is I, I want to I want to actually get your name correct. If I say it correctly, um, I I love I love knowing how how the names actually are. But um, so here we are. Um, okay, I'm back to my streamyard. Uh, yeah, and also going to be working with a system strategist on your business. Good, fantastic. So the two, so so coupling what we do together with what your system strategist does with you. And I don't even know what a system strategist is, but that's because you are a techno person, and uh, I don't understand your techno jive. <laughs> but uh, I'm uh, I'm 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 totally I'm totally hip. And I look forward to seeing how we can integrate that shit, that all, all of our work with those other people. Um, here's what this is about, you see. You start with something compelling and unique and authentic and interesting and honest and impactful and energetic. I cannot convince you to be passionate about something that I don't bring passion to. If, if I explain what needs to be explained in such a way that it takes, it catches your interest, then you are going to be stepping up and in, and then we engage in a dialogue. Now, you know, here's, you know, here's this thing, you know, and we have, you know, people in this live, but this is just like a single conversation. And although this is, you know, me talking into a camera, looking over my hand, over my finger, <laughs> if this is me talking, oh, you know, into the into the camera lens, it's still a dialogue. It's a two-way dialogue. Cool, Mukadis, great. Nah, that's fine. You know, Mukadis says. Uh, Sorry, just listening. A lot of ideas that I'm trying to sift through. This is this is me trying to activate your ability to think bigger. Your I, I spoke, I had a I had a conversation last night with someone who's on the fence, getting started, moving forward. And I don't get onto a call with someone unless they're actually ready to pony up some money to step in. They don't have to necessarily agree to the terms that I that I want to agree to, but they do need to be ready. And if they're not ready, then that's not me, you know. And um, 
So I didn't get on a call with this person originally, and now we're having a conversation again. And I explained to this person who's now getting a little more into this, you know, getting, getting the thrill and the desire in the sense that this is possible turns it into an ability to have a conversation at some point. You know where to reach me. But just so you know, the reason I didn't get on a call before was that I could tell you weren't ready. And that was going to be a waste of my time, and I'm not going to allow that to happen. Now, the reason I tell you this is because what the conversation was now, this person was further along and starting, and I could bring some concepts to the discussion in Messenger that got this person's mind opened up to some of the possibilities. And what I want is that you do the same. So Mukadis, you know, you're just you're just paying attention, you're listening, and your mind is marinating and turning ideas over, and that's what I want. When you are ready, I can get you started. Currently, my prices are going up. My prices are always going up a little bit, or my offers are changing. I have a cool, interesting new change to my offer because I know what is necessary, okay? And you did the right thing. You hopped in just before my prices went up by locking in a down payment that guaranteed you last year's prices before they went up. That was incredibly smart of you because you saved yourself your down payment you saved yourself the down payment that you put in when you stepped in at that down payment and then my prices went up afterwards and now it costs what you paid plus the down payment so you know i mean that's incredibly smart now you know i i'm i bend over backwards as much as i can to make sure that people save themselves money. I make an offer on my strategy session when it makes sense. I make an offer to you that has a bunch of discounts that you can select and put into our agreement. You will never get those discounts ever again. I keep track. And all the people who get me on a call, I don't have a lot, but there are some people who get me on a call and then don't buy anything. They won't even get the opportunity to have a discounted offer again, ever. I make it once. That's my, that's my credo. I'm not going to do any heavy lifting hard work for you a second time. No way. Don't care whose mommy, you know, gets on the phone saying, oh, please give Johnny a chance. No. You already got a mommy and I'm not it. <laughs> but this is all, you know, what do you stand for? How do you deliver big? Yeah, decisiveness is important. You know, I'm not here to, I'm not here to make my life harder. You know, I, uh, I occasionally, occasionally have to dump a client because they're a pain in my ass and they, you know, they're a, they're a crazy maker, a chaos person, someone who just wants to, you know, I had one, I had, I had one guy who wanted to boss me around because he was paying me money. And I said, you don't get to do that. I release you. I absolve you of any further relationship with me. We're done. I'm not going to stand for that. That's why I'm in this business. My rules, my way, my life. <laughs> so, you know, the credo is be compassionate, but take no shit. And that's where it comes in. I, I believe so strongly in devoting my attention, my, 
emotional investment in what content you're bringing when you hire me. I will not let you down. I will keep at you to make it work. Now, I can't get over there and eat your lunch for you, but I can do my damnedest. And this is where this stuff all comes into play. I may have, uh, we, we may, you know, we're, we're at the half hour mark. Is there any other question that needs, uh, needs answering? Because uh, if not, I'll, uh, I'll give this one a delightful fairly well uh, if, if, we're, if we're good. Um, let's see, let's see. No, we're, uh, we're on it. Feels right. Yeah. Cool. If any of this stuff makes sense to you without actually having a question at this moment, when you do have a question, this is the glory of this, this social media platform. You can reach out to me. All of you speaking here who are already in my stuff know that I have some really nice surprises in store for you because I'm now going to be stepping into a new platform that's, uh, you know, you're going you're gonna to love it. I mean, it's, it's super cool. It's not ready yet. But you already know some of that because uh, you probably got my messenger in in our uh, in our messenger group chat. But everybody else, reach out to me when you have an idea. I want to hear from you. And this is what this is. We're ready for it to fall in our laps from the sky. You just have to learn how to explain it, unlike everybody else, with glorious energetic enthusiasm. And then, that happens to be what I teach, and then you won't have to sell people you get to preach the gospel of you and let people come to you for it. That's the whole thing. Presence from the sky, bring it on, ready. Absolutely. I love that. I'm going to share that. Presence from the sky. And then there's another one. Woohoo! <laughs> that's perfect this is a nice uh this is a nice way this is a nice outro so here we are our first week into the year um if i made any of you cry i want to know because if not, my job's not done thoroughly. <laughs> Chaos, disorder, mayhem. Ah, thank God, my work is done. But um, we'll speak soon, okay? Compañeros, reach out. See you soon.